what we'll do now is we'll have a look and we'll, we'll practice changing mower blades. We better do that while I'm here. So somebody needs to mold this one down here like this, so we can get to the to the mower blades. It's very hard and awkward to mm. change the blades with this plate on here. Mm. So the easiest way is to pull this plate off. So it looks like we might need about a number, maybe a number 10. Does somebody want to get a 10 socket? Yeah, 10 socket. Yeah. Okay. No good, we can't put that one back. Alright, but what we'll I'll show you how to change some other blades anyway. <clears throat> it's a lot easier to do it with it on the bench like this, because yeah. when it's up there you can't get the nuts yeah. behind. Yeah. Now when we take these blades off <clears throat> and put them back, we mustn't do them up tight. This has got to be out of swing like that. See that one's too tight. Yeah, that's now the reason it's got a swing is when when the, the blades are going round, if they hit something solid like a rock or a bit of pipe, that's got to be able to swing yeah. out of the way. Yeah. And then when it spins up and goes fast, that try and throws the blades out. Well, they'll automatically straighten out again. They must be loose. So we might we might take one. I'll show you how to how we take the blades off and put them back on again but we can't use this one because it's going to fly off it's going to fall off all right so what we've got to do is get all that stuff off first and we we don't have any new blades anyway because see these blades here see how they, these blades they're wrong because they're too long if we put them on there they're going to hit the outside of the the mower so they're the wrong ones, but these ones here, see how they've got a, a hollow in them? See that? See how that's raised? Mm. These ones are flat. They're the wrong ones too. This part here's got to be flat, like this one. So this is the right part for here. It's flat. This one's not right because it's got a raised section, but this one's too long and this one's too long, so we don't have the right mower blades. But we'll take one off just so that I can show you when, when the wet season comes and you're starting to do all the mowing, you'll know how to change the blades because they have to be checked and changed from time to time. 17 or not? You are, 17. Yep. Okay. Okay, so the next thing is, where are we going to be able to get this one done? <coughs> no. yeah. Alright, so somebody can undo that one. Because you need to know where the washers go. They have washers in, special, in the special place. Mm. Okay, now the other thing you've got to be careful of is how do you reckon that blade would go? Like that or like that? So, and, sorry? So how do you reckon this blade would go? Like that or like that? Um, like that? Eh? Yeah. Does everybody think it goes that way? Yeah. And, uh, yeah so this goes up on here. Like that. And that goes up on there. But in actual fact, it goes like that. Oh, yeah. Now the reason why is, if it went like that, when it goes around, it's just going to hit all the rock and everything is going to hit that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And there's your cutting edge, see how that's been sharpened? So that's got to go, when the mower, the mower, 
these always go clockwise. Clockwise. Every every mower that you're going to come across or chainsaw, when you look at the at the end at the top of the crankshaft, they all go clockwise. So that means this one's going to go around there like a clock. So this is the edge that's going to be first. So that's that's going to cut the grass. Yeah. And the, do you know what the reason of this is? Do you know what that's for? That's straight like shaped like that. So as it hits the air in the grass, mm. it throws it up into the air. And then it goes down into the grass catch at the back of the back of the mower. That's why it's bent up like that. Now if you see this blade, this is just about see it's all been battered with with it's still got a bit of life in there because it's still not all worn away there, it's still got a cutting edge on it. So these blades we'd still be able to use them. But when you put these, if you're not sure how this goes, they have a picture in here. See this picture? See, it's got a, a picture there and shows you where all yeah, these different yeah. washers because it's different. Yeah. See how there's different washers? Yep. Oh, yeah. So that's got to go up in up in there and it's got to have the, the washer between the uh, the blade and the plate, so right. this has got something to swing. to swing on. Swing on. Yeah. yeah. But if you if you're going to put it back, if you're changing the blades, the main thing is you remember how the old ones went. If you can't remember, have have, and the other thing you can do, and this is a, a good trick when you're working on these mowers, if you pull anything to pieces, what do you reckon you should do first? You know, what did you have in your, in your hand just then? Mobile phone. And what's in the mobile phone? Google. You ever used it to take photos? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. yeah take photos, <laughs> sorry. Right. So if you're not, it's a good idea when you're working on things, just take a photo, take a picture, do a bit more, take another okay. picture. Then afterwards, if you're like me and you're getting old and you can't remember, you've got the picture to look at it later, oh, how to put yeah, it all back yeah, together. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, so, and the other the other thing to do, what I do, the other thing I do is I do one at a time. Do this one, finish them off. If you pull them all off, and then you've got all these parts, nuts and bolts and washers, you think, oh, where'd that come from? So if you just do one at a time, mm. you can copy. You can copy that one there. Mm. If you're not mm. sure, how's that one? Oh, I see, yeah, that washer's got to go there. Mm. So then you can put it back. So, the problem with this one is that the the centre part, the mounting part of it is cracked and it's broken. This should be just a round hole there with three holes here. This one here, although it's off a different mower, you can see how it's got a, a, a good round centre for mounting it. This one's all cracked and broken and it's probably, there are fatigue cracks up here too. But it's probably from being used in a, a very unfriendly environment, like running, trying to mow rocks and stones and car parts and all sorts of other stuff. It probably hasn't had a very, hasn't been used for what it's designed to be used for, and that's for mowing grass or lawn. Um, and this is because uh, there's about three other mowers here that don't have these plates on either, and I would say the same things happened. And the actual mounting plate that goes on the crankshaft boss is cracked in half as well. So it's just had a hard life. Which is um, what happens out here. That'll fly off. Fly off and yeah, it could fly off and you know foot. cut somebody's foot or leg yeah. or whatever. Yeah. See that should that's all broken, that shouldn't be like that.